Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Today I'm bringing you a short game uh, betwixt myself and Combustion Potato, which is a pretty awesome name. Kudos to uh, Mr. or Mrs. Potato. Okay, so uh, it's, a, it's a short game but an interesting one because it, it has some tactics uh, that I haven't necessarily seen before. Again, I mean, this is sort of becoming a theme of... Um, of these replay videos, uh, and I suppose that's appropriate. Things that that I find interesting. I don't just want to show you uh, all my wins. Wins, uh, rather, th there aren't that many anyway. So combustion potato straight out of the gate uh, basically rushes with his mother goo. Now it's not a proper rush. He's not a attacking with it um, yet, which is uh, a very annoying strategy when they just come out and like attack your base and you know, you're not prepared for it. Uh, goo is really unpredictable. You've sort of got to be prepared for all possible situations. You've got to be prepared for uh, a straight up mother rush. So you've got to defend a little bit, but you've also got to uh, be wary that they're not, you know, scurrying around gathering resources as a priority in order to steamroll you a little later on. Uh, so I'm, I haven't quite figured out what to do with goo yet. I've seen some players. Uh, use uh, base defenses, in, in the case of the beta, beta wall hubs uh, with commandos on it. Uh, I haven't quite figured out a build, build order that works well for me yet. Um, but there you go, so I've, I've decided to do a double fac, double factory if you will, uh, which has been a fairly successful strategy for me uh, lately. I'm still not 100% convinced that it's necessarily my style. Now here is a real tricky bit. I'm just going to switch over to my view here. I was distracted by this um, this drover over here. Meanwhile, the mother goose sneaks in, steals a little bit of my resource. I think that's what it did, or at least it was hanging out and scouting my base a little bit, and I swear to God, I didn't see it. I couldn't fucking see that. Look at that. That is some special trickery right there, and it's just scurrying along the ridge there, just checking me out, and I have no idea that it's there. Come on, that is that is so cheeky. That is so cheeky. Meanwhile, you know I've got I've got the units scattered around the map to take this thing out. If they were only in my base defending, uh, then I could perhaps find this thing and focus fire on it and take it out. Because all you need is a handful of commandos to to take out a goo. I remember in the early days of um, of the multiplayer scene for for Grey Goo. Uh, I would win several games, you know, within the first like three minutes by by commando rushing a, a newbie goo player. Totally worked. Now this, I tell you right here, this is where he is won. <laughs> I think it was about two minutes thirty. He split off a large protein, and that's it. I just can't defend against that. It's um, I believe it's probably its armor. Like its health isn't that high, but it's got to have some serious armor. Honestly, I don't know that much about the whole uh, armor system. I probably should uh, figure that out. Um, I just can't do enough damage. Maybe, maybe if I brought in all the commanders on the map, but even then, and it's just decimating my base, and that's it. That's the end for me. However, meanwhile, the I found the Mother Goo in the center of the map, and I figure, holy shit, I can't save my base. I'm aware that I can't save my base at this point, but I figure, if I can just take out that Mother right quick. Look, I've got more than enough commanders to deal with it, but it, it, ugh, potato... Microing son of a bitch! <laughs> well done, well done! Uh, and I just cannot get a bead on it. Not at all. Um, I was distracted by my base basically melting, uh, and I I make a fatal mistake and I lose track of the mother. I, I you know, the combustion potatoes micro was was just got like he, he or she has like seems to have either just enormous luck or just amazing knowledge of of uh of vision range and whatnot because uh potato just manages to stay out of my sight constantly and at this point i'm like shit i don't know where it is i assume that it's it's taken you know the opportunity taken my distraction and and used it to to get the mother out of there uh little do i know that there are now two mothers in the center i'm not sure if i could have won if i focused fire on on these motherfuckers but uh i could have at least had a little more dignity so i send my commandos off north figuring that that would be um where where the mothers would retreat to meanwhile the large protean has melted my base. Now, usually when I win 
sorry, usually when I lose in under five minutes, I feel pretty bad about it, you know, naturally. But this one I don't mind showing you because this was a special strategy as far as I'm concerned. I haven't seen this before and this is what I love so much about this game. It's what I love and simultaneously hate. Um, just when I think I've, I've figured out the meta, figured out what everyone's doing, someone brings something new to the table. Uh, I had a, a, a game against beta. It was beta versus beta, which is rare. It's good to see people still playing beta because it's, it's probably the, the least used faction at, at this point. Um, and I used my, you know, my double factory strategy that, you know, I'll do a video on that soon of sorry, where that sort of came about, uh, why I've changed my strategy. Um, and I used that, I thought I was, I was doing good, you know, I had, I had him boxed in and he defended with wall hubs and I'm like, okay, well, you know, my first thought was, I'm, that's not going to do anything, right? But holy shit, it worked. Because I, I've I've def I've tried the whole beta defense thing before and it didn't work for me. Now again, maybe I'm just shit. But <laughs> so my my point is beyond all this rambling. My point is there are so many strategies that are viable that just keep surprising me. So it's more a matter of it's not the strategies that don't work. It's the execution of those strategies that don't work. So with over 180 hours in the game, I feel like I like to think that I know most of the the strategies just without the ability to execute them. And it's not necessarily a, a APM sort of thing because it's not it's not that sort of game really. Um, I think it's just build order and you know just being on the ball and and I'm not. <laughs> Not enough, but it's just wild that there's that there's this shit that can that can surprise me like that. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure if you are interested in Grey Goo to um, uh, to pick it up because it is a fantastic game. Not not to sound like a shill, I'll be uh, completely transparent here. My motivations are um, I want more people playing online. <laughs> Because there are, it can be difficult to find a game uh, in its current state. Not impossible, just occasionally difficult. And honestly, I'd like more uh, more noobs in the pool. Because <laughs> I don't win enough. That was uh, only slightly a joke. Anyway, guys, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.